This is Radio Biafra USA 2. My name is Marzi Ike Peters. All right, this morning, like I said before, we are just bringing this back to refresh our memories. That was Simon Ekma. This is, uh, it was hilarious. It was so good. What he did was just the same thing that I'm talking about, you know, making us to think. You know, when you say you want to create Biafra, nothing will be better. I don't know why somebody cannot even really sit down and think about what this thing that's happening. Creating government based on tribal lines, honestly. Then you can come together and have a unified, like a unified force, a police, the army to to guide each and every one of you. But you know, stay in your own level, manage your resources. Whatever comes to you, you use it to develop yourself. What is said about Europe is something that I personally have observed. You know, I have traveled the world quite a lot. There's some villages you go in the nice because the people can't even. <laughs> but you know something one important thing in those places that even though they might look poor based on where we come from the zoo where we think white no if you go there they are but you know something in those tiny little places there are amenities that will keep you you might not be luxurious you might not be that uh, great of having 200 cars because that's all that's our people all go to Aramoto park and you beg then you are a big man, you are a rich person. Those people might not have all those luxuries of parking, but you know something? Take a hotel over there. Just go into, pay for a hotel, a hotel room in a remote place. And lo and behold, there's running water, hot and cold water there. There's electricity. Everything, that little thing that you want, you know, that will keep you normal, that you don't have to over-exaggerate. It's all there because they are based on their tribal lines. They have little. They don't have too much. But if you are equal, you not be, you'd be so afraid to even embezzle the people's money because they, they can count, you know, when you go over in a bank, the moment you can see what one, one, one naira or one dollar from every account in this world. <clears throat> but when you steal one dollar out of somebody who has only ten dollars, he knows that it's nine dollars. But if you go to the people that have millions, you know, you just pinch one dollar. Nobody will talk. That's exactly what is happening there. They don't have too much money. The little they have, whoever is managing it has to be very, very disciplined. Otherwise, you get in trouble. So we are talking about ruling on tribal lines. Don't let someone come and say, eh, eh, but you should, eh, but you just, it's not part of Biafra. Now you're talking nonsense. You are an idiot, complete fool. You're not thinking. We are not th you think we're going to allow every idiot to come into Biafra? No. Take your tribe. When you get together with your people, it's just referendum. You come in there, you run your own You run your own show. Resource control, resource control. I've been hearing that since I was a teenager up till today. Not no resource bullshit. The place is getting worse and worse and worse. You think you're going to be able to get control of your resources without coming together? Forget it. It's not going to happen. Resource control is everywhere. <laughs> it's not just in the, in the southeast. In the north, over there, they require resource control. And the problem is that why the Fulanis are clamoring to make sure that this system doesn't work is that they have no tribe. There's no, there's no, Fulanis are not Nigerians. So we're not even going to count them. If you go and count the Hausa man to rule on tribal lines, that's correct. But Fulanis, where are they from? They're from Mali. They have to go back to where they come from. We don't have no room for them in, the, in, the, in that place called the zoo. There's no room for them. So these are just reminders. These are things that you need to listen to. And uh, I picked up a clip also, and I think uh, somebody is talking here. Let me see if this is the clip that I, I actually wanted to play this morning. I heard somebody who's from Ijo, says he's a, an elder in Ijo land, is talking about the same thing that we have been talking about. But, you know, they don't want to try something new. Everybody wants to be Kabunanyangwaku. Namdi Kano has said just about everything. Let's not fool, stop fooling ourselves. Somebody was, somebody even told me when I said Nam the Kano said he said, ah, you know, somebody I've been saying this since I said, yeah, when when was the when the he said a couple of years ago. Then I went back and said, listen to this. Took him back to 2014. He said, this is when he said, oh, now wow. So the man they talk like this. Yeah, I sit down. You guys, you guys are not ready for the truth. But you know something? It does not matter anymore. Our leader has told us, even in his last, this one, the one I just aired, if they don't call you a terrorist, it means you're not doing anything. 
honestly. If you're not branded. He had told us earlier that, 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 that uh, 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 a freedom fighter belongs to three places. Either he's in prison, he's killed, or he's in exile. <laughs> That's all. You can't live with the people that you are fighting against and tell me that you are going to, that uh, 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 they, they are ignoring you and you are fighting. How do you the type of, uh, what's, what's the like of the other man? What's his name again? Kane Bugari Fire. I can't even remember his name. You sit down there, you are dining with them, you're going to food with them like, uh, like our brother was Wike. He goes to dine with them in the north, comes back and tells me uh, he is fighting freedom. The Ijo nation is demanding true federalism and self-determination mm -hmm. for it to remain a part of Nigeria. The conditions were listed by the president of the Ijo National Congress. You want true federalism? To, rem to remain part of Nigeria. Let me, let me start this again because I didn't really get catch what she said. The Ijo nation is demanding true federalism and self-determination mm -hmm. for it to remain a part of Nigeria. The conditions were listed by the president of the Ijo National Congress who says the Ijo nation is ready to peacefully negotiate its exit from the country. See? The nation, conscious of our desire, to live in a country where our rights to live peacefully and apply our God-endowed talents to our resources to our collective improvement and well-being no longer feel safe to be part of a country where inequality, iniquity, nepotism and impunity have become the defining principles of governance. Rather than continue to sacrifice and carry the burdens of an unappreciative Nigerian nation, we reach the state without equivocation, our resolve for self-determination. We are prepared to legally and peacefully negotiate our exit, like other aggrieved ethnic nationalists, but also as a distinct Ijo Republic with ethno-linguistic, cultural affinity and geographical contiguity, and not in part or full of any other secessionist agenda. Did you hear that? Two sides of their mouth, the same thing. However, I, I encourage what he's saying. He wants it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and see whether you're going to be able to get what you want. Collectively. Forget about it. Uh, each nation is a nation, yes. Biafra is going to recognize all that. What we are saying, and we are still saying it, is that you should think. We are not begging anybody to come in. It's a referendum. You want to join the union? Biafra is there. You can be independent of you. It's the same thing is happening here in the United States where I live. And if, when you say United States of America, those who don't live here think that it is just one country per se. Yes, it is. But there are if you can't come to New York, for the, fed, the federal will take take responsibility, especially the army, the police, civil rights, and all that. Yes. But the states have their own power too. They decide on what they do in their state. It's different. If you're driving here, you don't even know when you get to New Jersey, but you know something, you're getting into another state. And that state have their own rules and their own laws. You don't just, this is what we're talking about. Do you think, like I said before, Biafra is, when Biafra is created, it's up to you to say, you know something, I don't want to be here. I went out. We want to become a joint nation. Go and become your joint nation. And see if the, the crocodile will not swallow the lizard. You people are just funny. and I, don't, I wouldn't say stupid. Let me not use that word. You know, funny, but you're not thinking. Either you are afraid or you want to be very politically correct, which doesn't help anybody. Politically correct in other, other, other great nations of the world, yes, makes sense. But you know, in this place that we are, it does not work. It simply does not work. All I read in the papers every day is the, they are now threatening. They, 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 they're using the word northerners. Maybe Fulani, Fulani's are threatening. But you know, for once, I've heard them say Hausa and Fulani. I never heard that before. We used to hear Hausa Fulani as if they are the same people. But now even the Fulani's are now beginning to say Fulani and Hausa, which means Fulani, you're just strangers. You don't, you don't belong to that thing called Nigeria. We don't know where you came from. So you're going to go back to exactly where you come from. They sit down there, they're making... All they're saying is, we will make sure that we take all the Igbo, Igbo man's property. Hey! 
eh, Ajukuri Ebu there. These were so jealous. Yeah, they say they have to pay. We have to pay compensation for all the northern property we destroyed. Which one is it? The cattle, the cattle, and the and the mat because that's what that's what you are good for. Unless you talk about the nama, well, nama, munga, munga, koma, kama, nama, but you are violating the law. The nama is destroying people's crops, and you're not saying anything. So everybody has the right to destroy. So when you go out there and say you're yeah, going to take, that's all they're basing on is blackmail. Hey, how can I leave this mansion that I have built in Sokoto? How can I leave that? Well, you can stay there. It does not matter to us. Honestly, those mansions and those whatever you built there does not really matter to us at all. Life first. So if you want to die there with your property that you have because you don't want to lose it, so be it. So be it. You know? I hear these advocates, uh, they're talking about uh, the, 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 the northerners are beginning to threaten that. Uh, let's, let's listen to this one. It was very interesting. I listened to it yesterday. Uh, friends and colleagues, as we are aware of uh, what has been happening these days, we have taken steps. Uh, you must have been aware that we wrote to traditional rulers and other elders of the north and we just wrote another representation to the National Assembly. We have served the office of the Senate President and other senators. We have uh, uh, an endorsed copy of this proof of service on the Senate President. And we now have a brief on what, we, what is contained in the letter we sent to the National Assembly, essentially. So we read call for suspension of constitutional review and for referendum on self-determination to the violent agitations for Biafra. The coalition of northern groups has taken stock of events unfolding in Nigeria since 2016, noting especially with utter perplexity and concern the unrelenting disturbances created by certain interest groups in the southeast in the form of the violent agitation for a separate state of Biafra, which, uh, of, for, for in the form of the agitation for a separate state of Biafra, which turned violent. The embers of this agitation were ignited and incessantly fanned into a raging fire by the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, and other authors of mindless violence and separatism who see it as their duty to actualize what their fathers started in 1966, namely to bring about the realization of a separate state of Biafra through the force of arms and terrorist tactics. As the representatives of various interest groups from northern Nigeria, the CNG has watched and studied these events carefully and with considerable restraint and maturity to the point of condoning and accommodating several unreasonable and unacceptable actions that have been perpetrated against Nigerians collectively and northerners in particular. Of late, however, Matters have reached a point whereby silence has become complicity and inaction is no longer an option. Unprovoked evictions, attacks and killings of northerners in various parts of the south have resulted from the hate campaigns and propaganda being conducted by regional and ethnic agitators aimed mainly at instigating reprisals by Northerners against people from other parts of the country. Aware that the perpetrators of violence relentlessly pursuing this agenda of destruction and collective mayhem fervently hope it will engulf the entire country and bring about another civil war and mass killings and suffering of innocent people, the CNG took another bold step last week to address a petition to every significant component of the Northern society. Similar representations were made to the leadership of the National Assembly and delivered yesterday, Wednesday, June 9, 2021, in which 
the CNG made the following key demands from the federal parliament. One, we demanded the immediate suspension of the ongoing exercise for the review of the 1999 constitution and to concentrate on the first priority of determining who and what actually constitutes Nigeria as a nation in the present circumstance in which the Igbo, by taking up arms against the Nigerian state for the third time, have foreclosed every hope for the rest of us to continue coexisting with them as one nation. Yeah. Two, in order to achieve the final separation of the Igbo from the rest of Nigeria, we demanded the National Assembly to organize a referendum by seeking the cover of the same doctrine of necessity invoked by Nigeria's federal parliament that paved way for former President Goodluck Jonathan's takeover by declaring the late President Umaru Musa Eradua unfit. Number three, we demanded the National Assembly to prevail on the federal government of Nigeria to invite the United Nations, as well as the African Union and ECOWAS, to, in, to initiate the process of self-determination, to mandate the Biafarans out of the Nigerian Union by leveraging on the several relevant international treaties and conventions to which Nigeria is a signatory. Grounds. CNG notes that, Having failed to achieve the Igbo's nefarious objective by hijacking the NSAS agitations and inciting the violence and destruction that followed in its wake, long practice tactics are now being played out in the form of attacks against northerners and against agents and symbols of the federal government of Nigeria in the southeast and parts of the south-south. The mindless violence and extremist terrorist actions per perpetrated by IPOB and its followers in the Southeast and the South South have therefore made it impossible for us to remain indifferent or silent in the face of such extreme provocations and insistent drive towards civil strife in the country. Today, everyone can see that the diabolical scheme planned and exhibited in the actions and claims of IPOB supported morally and politically by the vast majority of the pliant and seed from Nigeria. All identified indigents, that is Igbos of the enclave or entity that call for secession, that is the Southeast, <clears throat> must leave the territory of Nigeria and assemble in their designated enclave for the purpose of the exercise. The outcome of the referendum shall be final irreversible and shall not be reviewed or reconsidered for any other reasons. Citizens of the breakaway enclave shall be deprived of any automatic rights to return to the territory of the ramp Nigeria or to be admitted to live in any of its parts. Let us be let let me just stop this this garbage because <laughs> I can That's what we are saying. They're now telling us what to do and how you can take them. They have to leave Nigeria and leave because it's, it's their property. That's what they are looking for. They think they, these people, the Fulani, they are the most de degenerated bunch of brainless idiots that I have ever seen. How easy. Look at the way they're saying it. Oh, you're just talking nonsense. Absolute rubbish. Biafra is going to go. Biafra properties are going to be their properties, no matter what you do. Unfortunately, you can't stop it. It's international. The only person you can take his property is somebody who probably got it fraudulently and was not prepared for it. If you have documents to show that this is your property, they cannot take it. They can't. Nobody does that anywhere in the world. We all live in the United States of America. We have properties. I know friends that have retired that have gone home a long time ago. Their property is still here. It still belongs to them. It does not mean anything. So that this this is just a bogus, bogus and flimsy and stupid threat. Anyway, who are talking? These are people. These are Janja weed that are gathered together and talking. Your document you are submitting. You are submitting to people who are lawyers. Even who look at it and say hey, 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 this one, this one doesn't doesn't go. This, these are a bunch of idiots. It's not it's not worth our time to even listen to this garbage because they've done it before. I remember when they gave them gave a. 
Biafrans three months to leave. They are talking. They are so confused. They are talking Igbo. Then they are talking uh, IPOP. Then they are talking Southeast. <laughs> we are going with all of us are leaving. All of us, what was known as Eastern region. The people of the, the Biafrans are leaving. Whatever we do with ourselves is not your problem. You stay. Who, the Janja with that is even talking. This person that is reading is probably say Fulani. You have no room in Nigeria. There's no space for you. You are foreigners. You're going back to wherever you come from. And that is the way it's going to be, whether you like it or you don't like it. We are not interested in what you're reading. What you're reading is you're talking to yourself. In the end, Biafra will come. Anyway, to be honest with you also, this, this, what you're reading now, the way you guys are panicking, is like you're so confused. <laughs> that means the end is very, very closer than we can imagine. This is Radio Biafra. Let me give you room to make your calls and so we can talk a little bit before we pack it up. The number is 646-920-4541-845-344-7984. Plus one, 929-406-9953. Uh, you can also call me on um, Signal at 845-283-9665. This is Radio Biafra. Give us a call. The lines are open for you. Supreme leader of indigenous people of Biafra is a Madiki, Mazinamdikanu. One. Not be two. <laughs> Sunlight production. Show face on the microphone. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Muchineke. We are getting there. It's a matter of time. Shalom. Bossom. You know me, say I go say my right for you, Nigeria. Myself again. Yeah. The love I have for Biafra has take over my heart. It's burning like fire. Biafra is my heart. Desire. All right, I have a call coming in. Caller, good morning. Call on straight line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Uh, good morning, Dr. Axe Welcome to the program. calling from me. Zone province here in the United States of Biafra. Welcome to uh, the I love the half up of your statement because uh, it shows uh, the, the quality of your doctorate degree. Thank you for a wonderful delivery of your message this morning. I just want to comment on uh, comment on uh, the talk of that uh, old man. He's an old man. Yes. The man talking about the John Nation. The reason why I want to comment on this is uh, to let those Biafrans who don't have the uh, complete understanding of the message that man was trying to pass out when he said the nation. You know, the talk of the nation is not a talk of today, it has been. But I want all Biafrans to listen very carefully. The Jordan nation this man is talking about is inside Biafra. That's right. All these people, they are afraid to mention the name Biafra. You see. Yeah, I get because you. Uh, I want to enlighten our people a little bit. When you say John Nation, if you move around the places where the John, the John tribe in Biafra cover, you will see that there are other mixed tribes too, like the Soko, like the Orobo, the Shekiri. They are just in close rank. So how do you cut those people away when you want to say the John Nation being a separate republic? You see that it's not possible. So to those who, 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 who don't have the knowledge of what the man is really saying, it is the John nation inside Biafra. Just like there will be Igbo nation yes. inside Biafra, it's the whole nation. Because that man hmm, yes. was voted for about a few weeks ago. If you call people, make the research about the man. His deputy is working with us. There are things we don't like to talk about, and when necessity comes, just to clear the head, we will just bring it to the notice of the public. His deputy is a barrister, he's working, so we know what is going on. So they will not come out and mention Biafra. That is just their problem. And uh, we know why they are doing that. Sometimes for safety purposes, because if you do, they may come after you. Yeah. They have arrested the job over the issue of Biafra. 
and uh, we don't know. <laughs> Some of them may come alive and some of them will go with part of the sacrifice. So there's need for caution. Yes. That is that. I don't want people to see other way around. Figure out what is going on. Thank you, sir. Ah. Devil. That is just that. Is just that. Thank so you. Bless our leader, his excellency, top editor, we now the Israel Lukukali, the president and commander in chief of the armed forces of the United States of Biafra. God bless the United States of Biafra and God bless you. Dr. Ike Peter, our okay. able presenter. Thank you, sir. Since there is the United States of America, there will also be the United States of Biafra. Yes, sir. Since there is USA, there will be US also. Too big. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Daniel. That was a good one. Uh, I would, I actually understood the professor who was talking, to be honest with you. Just very good that you cleared it this way because it's the same thing. We have a Igbo nation inside. All of them are in Biafra. When you say nation, it's going to be Cooperated Biafra is a United States, United Nations of <laughs> Biafra. So that's exactly what we're talking about. It does not. I understood him very, very well. Believe me, I did. All right, I have a call coming in on WhatsApp. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, good morning from here. I'm as the Ike Peters. Welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. Mechuko Kabi, I'm going to continue to bless you and your family. And secondly, happy Father's Day. Oh, thank you, sir. Sir. There we go. I greet our leader, Mazen Namdekano Hamadike, one of Biafra, His Excellency, the Lion of the Tribe of Biafra. This is Ozemena. Ozemena is from Umo Bome in Olu Province, Biafra land. Maze, Maze, Ochina Atomo, Manakwa na Agomo. Ochina Atomo. Watching Atom from the these uh, bandits from the Arewa consultative frame or, or the Arewa Northern, Northern Elders Forum. This they are called them bandits. Yes. Looking at that idiot, that idiot splitting splitting all over the places. He was the one in 2017 who said they are giving the Igbos uh, quick notice. Yes. After giving Igbos quick notice, he was he was also the one who came out and denounce the quick notice. <laughs> now, secondly, they said they have, wrote, they have wrote a letter to the National Assembly to suspend constitutional review and they adopt referendum. They said they have read to all the uh, international bodies and whatever, whatever they mentioned there. I don't, I, I don't even listen to that, their comment, because they are just splitting everywhere. Now, they have mentioned everything and, and mentioned international law they mentioned international law there but they did not remember that international law covers every property that any person have in every country right. no matter your tribe no matter your religion no matter whatever you are that's right these fools this this ginger weeds they are just splitting over all, all over the places now let's go to the east our governors the so-called governors and the Beribe or Hanese Ndara and Doshi they are the one on Saturday night, on Saturday, they have a communique that they are not in support of any secessionist. Now, Mazi, it is very, very clear and obvious that these people have decided to die with the Fulanese. They have decided that they will never have a repentant heart in their, in their life unless they die with the Fulanese. This is exactly what Nayamudu said, before you kill any Fulani man, you will come and kill me first. Mm -hmm. And now they are showing us that they are the one who are brought who, who brought this war in our land, not the Fulanis. They have made it clear to us that they are our worst enemies than the Fulanis. They have made it clear to us that they want to wipe us away, all of us. Now they have made it clear to us. It is very obvious that we have no other option than to defend our land with all with whatever we have. We're gonna defend our land with the last drop of our blood. And let me assure these people, this Miriam Eji, Miriam Eji Gama Alaji and Dog Amwe Fiopo. Because this drum they are beating, they will dance and dance and dance to the tunes of Biafrans. All hail Biaframas. Thank you for giving me this thank opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you, oh, thank you very much. That's, that's correct. They can, like I said, these people are not important. They are in a, oh, I don't really know why they are still putting their head into this thing and yeah, I, I, that is uh, because uh, they, they are doing something that I don't really, I cannot really understand or comprehend. 
I have a call on straight line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Marzi, I speak There you are. My name is Peter. I'm calling you from Jafala. There you are. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> what this bar is a reason makes me to laugh. Because them the Northerners, they are now the lawyer, the magistrate, or may I call them judge, chief judge, <laughs> and the prosecutor at the same time. They have shared the property and uh, take the part of uh, the, the part then the, 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 the law, uh, their own part. I thank people for that. I greet all the actors all over the world, especially our our family member, IPOB member. May people keep up. The remaining words as we are still alive, so that we can be alive and see the actor. Yes. So that we can rejoice all together. May people keep you and their family, my the ice keeper, they will. and all the principles. And I'm giving special duty to our great leader, Master Imam Khan. In short, I don't even know how to start. The man is wonderful and it's too much. If it is me, for me, I will even say, let him speak silence. Let us watch this performance because this silence now has. I think they haven't talked radio for, for more than two weeks now. The, 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 the zoo is shaking. I know that the zoo is shaking properly. So I thank you for that. And I'm giving, and I'm, I'm, I'm pleading to God on my, my chief of church, give you more wisdom, you people, more wisdom to come together and to see another way to to come out of this evil thing. Look at the way they are putting confusion among us. The other man is talking about window measure. The other one is talking about uh, 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 middle girls measure. This is that. Our brother, for that matter, it doesn't mean anything. It seems like uh, when somebody eats soup or whatever on fire, when the time reaches to put it down, to eat, that is, that is when the soup is gone. Everybody will come together and see. So I thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Very Hello. Uh, thank you. Thank you so very much. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. We're still taking calls at 9953 that's the line for the principal officers and the ladies and i have a call at 845-283-9665 that's on uh, signal call us the lines are still very very much open for you like uh my brother was discussing talking about uh, whatever they are reading out in the area well sir whatever these people are now becoming confused <laughs> check it out IPOB is a terror to them. IPOB is like a, that is Kano's name or something. When you go to their back and say Namdekano, all of them will faint and die because uh, this is a man that has stood up one single person. Nah, destroyed this whole giant of so-called Nigeria. Have a call. Good morning. Call on straight line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Yes, Pastor. Good morning. My name is uh, Manzi, my man, Ugo Onyejaka. I am calling from United States of America. Manzi, I reside here in Washington, D.C., but I am from Amibo, Amibo in Olo, Amibo, home of the Tiger, and Amibo, home of King Jaja of Popolo. Manzi, I thank you for all the good job you do for Biafra, and I thank God Almighty for Manzi and the Kano. Yes, Manzi, you know, I heard what you, we've been saying, even what uh, our brothers, the people that contributed, what they said. But the issue of the matter is one, everybody should know the reason why we are agitating. We are not agitating because, oh, we want Nigeria, we have problem with Nigeria. We are agitating because of our bad life, what is going on in our life. We are agitating because we have tried this experiment of Nigeria for how many years? More than 60 years after the creation of Nigeria. And there is nothing good that has come out of Nigeria. You cannot continue, you are doing one thing every day every day every day and nothing is coming out of your life is not changing whether your life is going down down and you continue on it 
This is what we are. We are not fighting anybody. But we are fighting the system that wants to subjugate us to continue to be the way we are dark. Darkness, no employment, no el common electricity, common electricity that every other part of the world, they have electricity. Because electricity comes with industry. Electric electricity comes with investment. Common electricity is not in that land. And then you think that it is something that people, people that have sense, they are, they are not thinking about it. Employment, you have all these children that graduated from the university. The children have done everything that you are told to them to do. If you do all this thing, everything will be good. Your mother just went and borrowed money. Your father borrowed money. You suffer all your years in the university. You come out, you don't have a job, and it is, it is, it is, it is a good thing. It is on you. We are not talking about, this, uh, look at hospitals. No hospital, but all the people who are running you, whenever they are sick, then they will go outside the country to go and have, you know, go and, 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 and see a doctor. We are talking because you have the police who are supposed to protect you. The police that was just, your life was given in your hand, protect and maintain peace in your country. The police turn over to be extracting money from you and killing you and intimidating you. We are talking about the, the army that's supposed to maintain the territorial integrity of a country. That is outside, fighting outside people, so that they will not invade your country. Then this army came in, and then what they are doing is also throwing bombs and killing your sons and your children, and then, you know, killing you and destroying you. We are talking about a government that's supposed to maintain the unity of the country, but they open up the border. And then the poor people that are not Nigerians, the Fulanese from Mauritania, Fulanese from Middle, uh, you know, uh, uh, Middle East, Fulanese from Mali, Fulanese from Niger, they brought them up in. When there is poverty, serious poverty in Ansa land, they are not Jewish children, the Hausa children, no employment, nothing. And these people that were brought, they were brought in and then they are killing the indigenous of the north, killing, uprooting, uprooting them. And these people are living in what they call the refugee camp. And then the people that come from outside the country, outside Nigeria, will come and occupy their land up to today. These people are still living there. Their mother are killed, their father are, are killed, their sisters are raped. That is what we're talking about. We're talking about that we have to have sense to know that we cannot continue living the type of life we are living. And this is the reason why we are con If they are thinking that it is politics, it is nonsense. Because everybody that is the politicians, because they are getting in one way or the other, this is the reason why they are protecting their business. That is what you should understand. They are not working for a common house child. They are not common, working for a common middle birth child that don't have any food to eat. They are not working for the common Yoruba or you know, or one children that do not have a way of this uh, you know eating. They are not coming, working even for girlfriends, you know, because Nigeria have made women to be widows. Nigeria have made men, you know children to be orphans. Nigeria have killed the head of the household of you know of people. Up to today, how can you tell me that somebody in his right of sense will take a, a plane and go and be bombing, or no, bombing people, throwing bombs, not knowing that if it is a child that is going to hit, not knowing if it is a woman that is going to be killed, not knowing this thing. And what are you asking for? You send them full and ease. Get out of the bush. We are farming. We are farmers. Get in your number out. Even in Igbo land, let me tell you where I come from. When your goat goes out to eat your neighbor's you know, uh, livestock, or just go over there and get your farm, destroy your farm. Believe me, it is an abomination. It is a very big problem in the, in, you know, in, in the society. It cannot happen. Talk less of living the dharma. The people that have just invested their money, in order just to have their farm, you take your cow to go and destroy the cow. And then that is what we are talking about. So my brother, let us know exactly where we are going. Because the issue there is that either Nigeria is destroyed or you are dead. Nigeria is the only thing, the worst thing that have happened to you. Don't go and blame it that it is the Satan or their, you know, their grandfather or whatever that people did to you. Nigeria is that abomination. Nigeria is that craziness that happened to you. Until we destroy Nigeria and then from the way we're going to live and then be human beings, then believe me, we are not going anywhere. So, Mazi, if you want to do anything and you are here in America and you are hearing our voice every day, and we want you to contribute to see how we're going to make our land good. And then you are here and we are enjoying the fruit of our, you know, civil rights, the full, the fruit of our freedom. You are just having a job and enjoying yourself, you know, with your children. And you're not thinking about what is going on in Nigeria or what is going on in Gaffa land. You know that you are a, a very wicked person. So I am asking you, if you want to donate, go to our website. And that our website is www.ipod.org. In USA, that org slash donate w 
www.ipob.org. It's very simple. I am saying this. You don't have to have New York to donate. You can donate any little amount of money you can donate because it will help us just to propagate this so that we will save the life of our children to come. Thank you and God bless you. God bless you. All right. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. Do not forget that we're still uh, sponsoring our foundation, the Consul Foundation. You can make your donations, make your donations, make your donations. That's a foundation that we created for all the people that have lost their families and uh, we need to help in this struggle. You don't have to abandon them. Go to www.ipobinusa forward slash it and say donate. And they specify exactly what you have, what the money you are throwing in is for. Uh, for better cause, we are here to make sure that, uh, that we don't abandon the families that have uh, the families that have that have been uh, f f you know touched one way or the other in the in the struggle that we are coming into. Uh, we are into. I have a call on. Uh, let me take this one. Caller on principal oh. officer's line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, good afternoon, my patron. Hi, Peters. Welcome to the program, sir. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Yeah, my brother, I I had the 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 the, 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 the buffoon telling us what the condition they are going to give us. Uh, the only thing I want us to be aware is uh, these people might have drawn the type of referendum they want to uh, uh, let us have. Yeah. They may have planned it that imme immediately they flash it, they will rig it. That is just, uh, that is just what I am thinking, because uh, uh, the way they are packaging it, coming forward and telling us and giving us, uh, telling us how we are going to have it, is very very suspicious. The point, the, the the point is that my brother, they 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 don't have anything to say. They are just talking. They you know we know they are joking because uh, referendum is not something you come out and throw in a paper and tell the world will conduct yes. a referendum. Yes. So it's not, not relevant. Uh, they are not important. They just. You know, they're just trying to take our eyes off the ball. We are. We know where we are. Hey, we're going telling to go. us, telling us, telling us whom to contact to come and do it, and the way they were, they are going to come and do it, and telling us what they want. You know, this full and is the the all the reason from the annus, and they think uh, it's going to be business as business as uh, it has always been. Uh, I think they should know that uh, time has come. They have, uh, there is always that proverb in a place that they have stolen to the extent that the owner has, an, has now reason to, to know that they are actually stealing. Yeah. They should stop fooling themselves. The game is up and uh, there is no need in uh, strangulating everybody, killing the houses. Uh, in the secret and coming out to make noise and uh, uh, I mean they should know that we are ready to go and we are tired of all this and for those of them that are in the south is claiming to be governors and uh, whatever their names are my plea is that they should actually wash their back they all have says no to whatever they are they are voicing out. And the power belongs to Doha. Right. It doesn't belong to them. No. The governors are just five. I'm sure if there is a referendum today, their wives and even their, their family members will vote yes for Biafra. Whatever garbage they are, they are dishing out as they are coming is only for, 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 for their selfish interest to hide whatever they have been stealing. All this period they were made governors. I mean, it's, uh, a, a, it's very painful that even uh, uh, in this very time and age, the Fulanese can still take fighter jets to Olo and uh, be bombing innocent people. Olo has always been a very peaceful place. 
they are, they are not even there is nothing that that is criminal that stays in Olu for long because the people of Olu will root you out yeah. we don't just we don't have a criminals don't mind that hope who's the man we know is a criminal is a 419 uh, but he, he, i know at the land of Olu never permits him to stay in Olu to progress he he went out and he stole and only come in to be governor we don't we, we, we don't reverence criminals. We call you whom you are. And the enough is enough. They should please stop these very atrocities they are committing in our law. Before before I repeat, before before they reap what they are sowing now, before it comes back to them, before it backfires, that no even no not even liquid can can pick it off. Because they are biting more than they can chew. This fight they are bringing down to Allah with your Hanese, yeah, chairman or whatever they call him, Obi, Obi Nama, as Obi Obi Ozodimba. Whatever they are thinking, he is from Allah, and he is from the same place with uh, the, the idiot that is the governor. This rain will beat them. Will be that by the time they will they will look at their compound, they will not see anybody again. Or even in its structure standing, they will know that the people has risen. They are killing people now, and they think it is going to continue that way. They should wash it. It is getting too much. It is getting too much. Thank you very much, I Peters, Thank for you your so time much. and uh, all the effort you are making to to educate Biafrans. Thank you. So May much. you live longer, even you you will reign in Biafra, not just in Biafra. You will reign in Biafra. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you, sir. All right, this is Radio Biafra USA 2. Let's see what time we've got now. Uh, all right, we'll still have time to take more calls at 646-920-4541-845-344-7984-1929-406-9953. These people, like I said before, whatever they are saying, they're trying to take our eyes off the ball. It's not important. They are not the ones going to dictate for us what we're going to do. When the time comes, the appropriate quarters, the United Nations and the bigger countries of the world will come in and see what they're going to do, how the referendum is going to be conducted. Nobody's going to tell us how to conduct and where to go and where not to go. We're dealing with Alamajiris and we cannot bring our level down to their own level. We're more intelligent, we're more intellectuals, we have people that really know what is happening in the world that are running out. So this is uh, Radio Biafra. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Caller on straight line. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good evening from here. I'm Jack Peters. My name is James. My name is Ndo Kachukudi James. Calling from Anyoma. But I'm here in Hong Kong. Calling from Hong Kong. Welcome to the program. Jack Peters, thank you very, very much. Yeah. For the good work we have been doing, and uh, I want to use this opportunity to greet our leader, Mazen, the Colonel, the Hamadike One of Biafra Land. So I hope I want to talk to our brother from uh, a joint nation, claiming they want to do a joint nation, a joint nation. This is not time for a joint nation, to my own understanding. This is not time for a joint nation, for my own understanding. I believe that. Uh, but uh, before we can, our, our leader have told us already that in, any every nation will be on their own and control their resources. This is the time we need to join hands together, join hands together to get our Biafra, not to uh, agitating for a joint nation, a joint nation on their own separate step. I think they are very, very making a very wrong, uh, wrong move. They have to step it down. When our Biafra come, we have to. Our leader will share it. Everybody will know what, what, which side it belongs to, and which side it belongs to. Not by now agitating. The only them cannot do it. Only the joint nation cannot do it. There's no other way they can do it. Unless maybe the others, our governors have paid them money to 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 disablaze what we are doing. I think I think they have to retreat themselves back and uh, caution themselves. No need to making a problem. We need our Biafra. That is only what we need. We need our Biafra. No matter what it takes. If it takes all of us to die, we die. But the Biafra must stand. That is exactly what we want. Thank you. If it is automatically. That's exactly what you want. Either the Biafra or all everybody, everybody, no, but no, no, even ghosts can can breathe in Biafra land. That's it. All of us will die, and then Nigeria will come to an end, so that the British will carry, will carry, will come back to living there. That is that. This is that is the way the, the way 
the Fulani one feet. They want to hand over our land to the British. If that is the case, all of us will die. None of them will escape. None of them will escape. I wish, I, I wish I have the power to find where they are and their children. I'll do the social bombing and kill all of them away because this thing is very painful. It's very painful. And our leaders, our governors, all of them are there moping, looking like fools. And these people are coming inside, going out, going out, killing people, killing, killing, killing every day. They are killing human beings. And one of their children is in abroad schooling and doing everything. And they are here killing people up and down, which is very, very wrong. Please, our leaders, anybody knows where their children are. I'm begging all the whole Biafra. Anybody know where their children are, are schooling or doing anything? Should tell us, let us know. If anyone is here in Hong Kong, you should send us the address. Let us go and look for them. We must have to kill one of them or their children so that they will know the pain other people are facing. Other people are facing pain when they will kill your brother, kill your sister, kill your husband, kill your wife. Other people are in pain. But they, know, they, they, they don't know. It doesn't concern them because they are, they are living large. They, are, they have money. They have everything. They are living very, very large. So anybody, all the whole their friends all over the whole world, if you know anywhere their children are, we have to ask and do one, one of them. Let's kill one of their children or one of their relatives so that they will have the pain other people are having. Other people have, are having the pain, the heat in their heart yeah. for okay. losing their loved ones. So that they will have, they have the same heat and pain in their heart so that they will know if they can retreat themselves backward to know what they are doing, they, that what they are doing is wrong or is right. So please, Marcy, I don't have much to say. I'm so angry. Let me, I, I pray that God will guide you people as we are coming on air every day, every day to enlighten us, to tell us what to do. Yeah. That, uh, with that God Almighty in heaven will most totally protect you and your family. In Jesus' name I pray. You say, you say, you say, thank you very much. Well, Thank you so Thank much you, for calling Radio Biafra USA 2. This is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls at 646-920-445-41-845-344-7984. At 1-929-406-9953. I'm also on Skype. I mean, I'm also on Signal. The Signal line is 845 283 Six six five. Call name and where you're calling from. Good morning, Mazai Peters. Uh, good morning, dear friends all over the world. My name is Shiyok. I'm calling from Maryland. Welcome to the program. Um, yes, I I want to encourage our brothers and our sisters, dear friends, that uh, uh, we should still remain focused because um, the salt we are adding, we are putting in our soup is really going inside. Yes. Is they are feeling it, and that's why you see all this reaction. But the thing, dear and I, is that let us just be frank. The problem is not external. The problem we have is internal. You know, there are categories of people. It's not that if every born Biafran, anybody from the old eastern region, comprises of all the ethnic groups in the old eastern region, want Biafra. They all want, even all these politicians, all these governors, don't be, you see, they are waiting, once the time comes, okay, let us now do referendum. Now they have seen that, ah, oh, man, we are very close to that too. All of them will rush. Now they are rushing back to all the all the criminal politicians, everybody's decamping to APC. That's exactly what they do. Yeah. They are waiting for this food to get done. Then you see all of them confessing because they know that we are children of God. To accept apologies is very easy. Hey, oh, please, we are sorry. Oh, you know, we are poly That's exactly what they wanted to do. But where I want to go into this morning, just a few minutes is, you see these Northern groups coming up. Yes. If you track their statement, whenever they come up to make a statement, a politician from Igbo land or Biafra land now they know that the whole Biafra are united. Yeah. You see the like of uh, um, what they call it, Rochas, and uh, many of them from, uh, they say, Ejo and whatever. They come to back up bit by bit of what they say. Means that they are plotting with these guys. They are plotting with these guys. We shouldn't lose focus. What we are doing is 
going in. This uh, forget about all these their threat, uh, property and whatever. No, 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 no. We are bigger than those things they are thinking of, and the world has gone beyond that. They can't determine how people live. As you rightly said, let us remain focused because God himself has already planned this. Frankly speaking, what is happening on, you know, as I told you, I have many friends from the north. I have, the, in fact, one of them called me yesterday and he was crying. I said, why are you crying? You see, the problem they have frankly speaking it's not that they don't want biafra everybody to go but if biafra leaves if biafra leaves nigeria they are gone they will suffer because their politicians have sold them to these fulanis that is why it looks like most of them are still anchoring in one nigeria but if this referendum should come in a way that all the ethnic groups in nigeria will have a representation to determine at once look at what in fact, when the young man was he was talking to me and he was crying and the family were if it was like a conference call so we should know that what we are doing is good let us still remain focused don't be reactionary when you meet them on facebook educate them when you meet anyone there are uh, you uh my ego will call them uh, uh facebook hand bandits when you meet those facebook bandits educate them Tell them that it is because of the what they are getting from Nigeria. That's why they are thinking this way. Once that feeding body is taken off from them, now they will join the rest. Even cry, they will even fight more than more than we are doing now. That's what I want to tell us that the what we are doing is going in. Congratulations, Obia France. Yes. Congratulations, Oduduwa. Congratulations, Mirubet. Come out very, very steadfast. We are winning. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. That was very encouraging. I know what you're saying makes sense. And uh, each time they talk, like I said, their aim is to take our eyes off the ball. We are rolling. We keep rolling on. They can they will come up. Tomorrow they're going to come up with another one. Don't worry about it. It's not over yet. The community will always come up. The next day they sit down. They are worried. They're sick to their stomach. You don't know what we are going to do to this Nam the Kano and his people. This man has really, really, really single-handedly, focusedly destroyed what we call the zoo. But he told you from the beginning that the time I finish with you, Somalia will be a paradise. He said it over, not one time, not two times. He's still saying it every day. There is nothing you can you're going to do about it. He was, he was, he was dedicated for the job, dedicated to something that he's doing. And God is the is the ultimate. He worships the true God that has given him instruction on what he's going to do. Whether you want to believe it, you don't want to believe it, it does not change anything. Somebody once said that the world was round and they, they crucified him. They did this to him. They did all that. But you know something? The world didn't become square because of this belief. The world remained round. So which is the same thing. Whether you attack, I want to accept what Nam Dekano is doing or not, it doesn't make any difference. The only thing is, whatever you're doing, most of you people are just distracting, trying to distract us, trying to take us, make us, you know, lose focus on what we are doing. No, our focus is Biafra, and Biafra is what we're going to get. When anybody can come up and say, uh, somebody in Oro can say Oro Nation, somebody in uh, Ijo can say Ijo Nation, it does not mean anything. Those things don't mean anything because even if they leave you, you cannot get what you want. <laughs> Obviously, you don't even have the power. It's like a distraction, like I said. When we get Biafra, you can decide on what you want to do. There'll be, there'll be nations. They'll be created under ethnic lines. You're, you make your own government. You take care of your resources. If they leave you to go and struggle about it yourself, you are wasting your time. They'll swallow you like chicken. That's what they have been doing. They've been bastardizing Ogoni land. Ken Serawiwa came up. If Ken was saying, you know something, we are joining Biafra, they will not be able to do anything to you. I am telling you the truth. But he wanted to do it on their own. They just waved you with the back of the hand. They just slaughtered all of you and, and that was the end of that struggle. So anybody who is coming out and saying, you join the show, it's okay. As a talking, as a when you get the land first, ground where you go put your mat, sleep on them, look at talking for broken, make we understand our way. 
You say they go by mat where you go take sleep. Where the land, where the ground, where you go take, where you go take, uh, uh, put the mat. You go get the ground first. Like my friend Akpola. Akpola, Akpola used to be on the funkies. One night we we'll finish a show and we're going and somebody was like, Akpola took somebody to his house and his friend, the person that he was taking to his house, saw another friend and said, I'm going to sleep in Akpola's house. And then uh, the, the friend said, I, I make her follow you. He said, yeah, yeah, follow me. Akpola just look at her and say, look at this. Monkey not, never see rope tie inside. They tie somebody else. You are not even sure what you're going to land. You are bringing your friend. That's exactly what we're saying. Get Biafra first. When you get Biafra, then you can decide on what you want to do. If you go out there to try to struggle, you say distraction. Please don't distract us. We're doing what we're doing. Anyway, like I said before, I know our leader is very, very focused. There's nothing you can do to change that man. He's always, always said it from the beginning. You either give me Biafra or we all die. People say we don't like the way it talks like that. What what other way is he going to talk? Hmm? What well, any other way that you think he can talk for to make the people listen? There's nothing anybody can do. He is our leader. The way he is doing it, you might not like his style, but you know something? He's yielding results. We are Biafrans. Call us. The line is still open for you. It's 646-920-4541-845-344-7984. Plus one. 929-406-9953 All right, I have a call coming in on Straight Line Caller. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. I'm Mazi Aikspira. There you are. Oh, yes. Good afternoon. This is Frank calling from Yenegua. Okay, Frank, welcome to um, the program. Frank, uh, Thank you very much. Frank hails from Kwea. Uh, Kwea is in Kana local government area of Ogoni province of Biafra nation. Thank you, sir. Yes. Mazi, I want to hail uh, His Royal Majesty Ohamadike Ana Mekele Han Dewo, sir. Email her. Then in my language, I say, Mama Namdekanu. Mama, for everything you have been doing for us. In fact, you are too much. By the way, what makes me call this afternoon is what you just pointed out this afternoon concerning Kensaro and Wai and Ogoni people. Yes. You see, if the uh, if the job people will not learn from what happened to the Ogonis, then they are bound to make another mistake again. Because, you see, now, nah, let me tell you, Mosop, after Kensaro was dead, has been divided to five pieces by the same Fulani people. Mm -hmm. After they have lured them into bread picking, and that is the same way the IYC is going to be, the joy is going to be if they don't take their time. They should drop a just struggle first, drop Niger Delta or whatsoever first. Let us fight these monsters once and for all before we look for next the next thing. So that is the only thing that makes me call this very afternoon. Okay. I want to draw their ear. They should learn from what happened to the Ogonis. We, the Ogonis, I'm from Ogoni. They should learn from what happened before they will enter another Red Sea. Because this Fulani, they are very good in playing tricks. They will lure you by bribing, and the moment you get into it, you are finished. So, please. Thank you. I want to say uh, kudos to the ESN. I salute them wherever they are. I give them three boots up. Boots up. Boots up. Boots up. They should continue. We are with them. Yes. Thank you. And Thank goodbye. You. Thank you very God much. Bless. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I'm trying to say. When Asen Azota and Eweza Wute, don't start looking for mat before you buy the ground. <laughs> so what you are saying in a nutshell is that you can't make it on your own. Stop fooling yourself. Can try it. Can, can they try Especially at the time he did it, was the, during the military. If he had the boldness to do it at that time, if he had come up, he go be okay. When you are many of you like that, somebody was like, uh, the, why don't they attack uh, the, the, the crowd that uh, that uh, is protesting in Yoruba land, that one of our people, when they see the crowd, they run. What they try to do is like the tiger. When you watch the animal, animal kingdom, the safari, 
in discovery channels and you're watching it you watch when the animals are moving in large quantity the lion is trying to catch something to catch a prey but the only one he catches is the one that strays and leaves the, the crowd any of them that just branches out of the crowd it becomes a target but when there are so many they are afraid to attack <clears throat> it's the same thing with the so-called nigeria army they make sure that they break you up they take you out the cancer of while he was tried within two three days one week he was already dead people were traveling up and down to make sure to see if they would pardon him they were would but sani abacha didn't waste any time just kill this guy because a pressure might make me leave him so he just took him out today some people are still going to make the same mistake who gave you the power the audacity to think you can challenge them without being in a group if you are not in a group, you are wasting your time. You can't do it on your own. It's impossible. This is pure common sense. It doesn't, you, don't, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. When you don't get what they want, now you can decide on what you want. Within Biafra, that's what we say United States of Biafra. Or United, whatever, United Nations of Biafra, honestly. Whatever you call it, let the nations come in there first. Protect your boundary. Have a simple army that will protect you guys. And then you'll be able to, to get what you want. Resource control, resource. You will, every every state in Biafra, every region in Biafra has, its, has a control resource. Nobody is, no. We are blessed. There are too many. Even those who don't have minerals and everything, they have brain. Obul is singing your brain, the way you think. It's all, do you think resource control is only when you can dig oil or gold in them? No. No, Bill Gates in the way Bill Gates that is one of the richest that we knew in those days. What was he using? Obul is here, his brain. That's what he's thinking. All of us are clamoring on computers. He didn't dig it from the ground. He never went to the mine where they mine computer and, and some might bring them. No, he sat down with his brain and wrote the programs. And all of us are clamoring about it. So it's only lazy people that think that resource control because the Fulanis are very lazy. They think that that oil is the only thing. I even read one that was saying that the granite oil that they... <laughs> that they're, they're so stupid and idiotic. That the development of Nigeria before even the material they use in digging the oil was from the from the granite oil that they were selling from Pyramid. These people are... They are no brain at all. Who put it in Are they the only people selling cow in this world? Go to South America. All this corn beef that you hear, beef. Beef is cow. Nama. Somebody is developing and putting it and living at, with it as a resources, as something that will that will help. No, it's not in them. I don't know. God, God, God help us. Because we, are, we have to deal with this kind of garbage. They are not thinking. Look at what they are thinking. No, oh, the oil that, uh, you know, it was the granite oil money that Nigeria was selling that was sustaining Nigeria. And that's what gave them the, the resources to go and dig. They are talking about oil, oil, oil. What about your brain? What about Oburi Isiki? Eh? What of your natural resources? Something that God has given you. You don't think. You don't even try to re, re, do anything. You're, all you're thinking about is the gold, the oil. Uh, let us go and dig the oil and sell the oil and share the money. And that's it. That's why the country is the way it is. Poverty is ravaging all of you. You dig the oil, you get the money, you don't even train your children and send them to school. You let them be parading the streets. These are future. The people that are supposed to hold the nation to, to, to you know, be, be the, the, the light of the nation. They are not there. All of them are in the street. All you do at, at nine years old, you give them a bunch of cows, about 50 cows, to, to walk from Sokoto to Maiduguri with his leg. Or you take him the highest you can do, put them in a trailer and drop them somewhere, and from there they start ravaging people's, people's crops and farms and everything. And this, these are children. All of you should be in prison, I'm telling you honestly. Then you come here, I'm looking at it. I saw something on Facebook yesterday. Somebody threw in something. The, the, his grandchildren came to visit, and all of them were sitting in a long couch. Each of them has a computer, or has a phone, or either a cell phone or a laptop, something in their hand, and they were up, you know, doing this. And I'm now thinking, these same children will grow up and spend the whole world with the Alamajiri child who is running a cow at eight years who is by six years already learned how to carry a stick behind his neck and following the cow. The world of technology. The world is growing. And you just hold these children down. 
and we are trying to help you by saying break this country down so people will know what they can do no you are crying about oil uh, they, when you break it down the oil we are going to seize your property if they leave those properties for you you are not going to do nothing with them they will lapidate because you wouldn't know how to manage them the idiot that you are you can't even live there yourself and who will rent the place but when you cannot even take care of it your brain power is the biggest power that you have your brain policy i know that these people are my own people especially when you come to biafra land you see families you see a mother who is not even educated making sure that her child goes to school she will walk every morning. I remember my mom. My mom was not educated. My father was, yes. But not my mother. <laughs> but you know something? Education for my mother meant so much. Our father, civil servant, he comes to work, brings his newspapers home, reads the papers, and once in a while. But mama will make sure that you go to school. Believe me, she says, she, she doesn't joke. She will walk me to school. And when the school is over, and she doesn't see me at a certain time, she's coming to find who who, who is it. These are, they, I'm not talking about my mother alone. I saw thousands of mothers that kept doing this. I'm telling you, these are not women that were educated. But for them, there was something behind this education. For them, it was a pride to have a son, mama doya, mama doctor. It was something. It was a, a big thing for them. But not the alamajiri. You have to have the mama, mama kaurera. These children are just left to degenerate. And nobody cares. And they think that they want to push it over to our, our, our end. No, it's not going to work. It is not going to work. Because we're not going to let it happen. So I don't want anybody coming out there to claim I'm a robo nation. I am a John nation. I am a Ogoni nation. That, those things don't mean anything. Those things are just meaningless words. I'm telling you the truth. It's not going to help you. Get yourself out of these people. And the only way you can get out of them is by being together as a as a as a crowd. That's all that's the way we say it in Igbo language. The crowd, the crowd, the power of the the power of togetherness. Then within yourself, you even it happens in families. It happens in twins. You know, I I used to have one twin in my, my school in those days, two boys and they are always quarreling with themselves. But if they have a problem and you go there to interfere, two of them will come together and knock you out and then go back to their quarrel. That's that's the way it is. If you get together, get your Biafra, you can work, create whatever nation you want. Maybe I can have a new nation. <laughs> if, I, if that is what, if that word nation means a lot to you guys. Because you're not making any sense. Professors will sit down, all of a sudden, they forget everything about their, you know, like I said before, knowledge is not really a book. Honestly, there are different kinds of knowledges. When you have that knowledge, there's nothing you can do. Nam Dekano is not the most educated man in the world, but he has a lot of things coming out of his brain. That is why we are able to follow him. That's why we are able to understand him. You know, even though somebody told my story, I told somebody a story about how I met uh, uh, late prophet T.B. Joshua, and uh, he, he, the person made it his own story. So I, I don't want to talk about the story anymore. The truth is that in a nutshell, I went there, somebody took me there, somebody forced me to follow him, a friend who was getting married. And I went, that was in the like 1997 98 and i wasn't happy with my friend for taking me there because the man himself was not speaking good english he came out his hair was unkempt he had this kind of funny beards and everything but lo and behold when i sat down there in five to ten minutes i said to my friend wow this guy is very knowledgeable he's not educated in my standard i wasn't looking at him as an educated person because his, his grammar wasn't going well but he had so much knowledge. His own interpretation and the rendition of... He wasn't, there was nothing about him that, that would make me think... If he was a professor, maybe a professor in one of the universities, I would simply walk out because what he was saying is something that I have read in higher books. But this man doesn't, didn't look educated. So his knowledge must have been coming from somewhere. He has a brain. That's what I was trying to say. He wasn't trying to copy anybody. He was trying to be himself. So all these professors, they go there, they sit down, they make noise, they, they want to lead their community because they have sent him to school. He is somebody they are looking up to that he has a lot of knowledge. He doesn't do. He does not. I'm telling you. I sit in village communities and I see people that sit down there. 
the inter the people that really have the real knowledge they are not even very educated but you know something at the time they want to pick people that will represent the village they don't pick them they go pick the ones that they think because he has a phd he has his daddy that complete idiot he goes there messes everybody up this is exactly what is going on Ijo nation is good Urubo nation is good Igbo nation is good all the all of the nations they were saying let us get our government when we sit down our leader has said it before he even said your constitution will be written in your own language what other way is he going to put it what other way is he going to put that they will because this is your Yibo, you will lie with english language because we don't even understand the english language when when we write it we think that that's what it means a smart lawyer will come in and say hey hey, hey look at this look at that but when they write it in your language the mothers, the mama in the village, the small boy in the village, the, the chief in the village, they will all understand what they have written. Not bringing a, 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 a parable like the, the Bible that we're trying to uh, doing everything to make sure that it makes sense because that's what is happening. That's why you have all these versions, version, this version, that version. Why do you have to have so many versions? Somebody has written something already. You are creating a version because you are trying to interpret what somebody has written. You want to make it make sense to you without thinking that the person that wrote it meant something try to think i try to figure out what the person was trying to say don't try to change it because if you change it's going to mean something else what we are saying is that biafra is our goal and nobody and i'm saying absolutely nobody can make us change that anybody that is trying to say whatever they're trying to say it's all they are trying to make us lose focus we're going to stay with biafra Biafra is what we get when we get our nation. We can now decide. Our leader have told us Biafra is going to be unique and I see it. If anybody else doesn't see what I see, well, I'm sorry. I cannot force you to see it. But when the time comes, you will eventually understand that what we are talking and what Namdi Khan has been saying has been the truth and nothing but the truth. You see, this is a journey that we are making it's like we're going to, you know, you know, all these uh, one chance, one chance bus. Anywhere where they go, they pick up people. We are like a one chance bus. So anytime we, you join us, that's when you start your journey. There are people that have been been on this journey from the beginning. Maybe somebody's going from Calabar to Lagos. And as soon as you get to uh, Uyo, some people will join the bus. You keep moving, you get to Aba, some people will join. That's how the bus will move until it gets to Lagos. But we'll all get to Lagos. That's the point. What I'm trying to say in a nutshell is that this journey has been started by people even before we came in, before we heard about it. Well, that was our own time. And then we joined. If you do not want to join it at this time, that's your problem. But do not try to join it because you want to change what we are doing. No. We, are, we have a roadmap. And roadmap is what our leader is following. If you don't like the roadmap, it's a free world. You can go out there, draw your own roadmap, create your own organization, get your own people to follow you. <laughs> that's how easy and how sweet it is. Uh, because me, I'm not sabi kuku, so that's why I like to eat cooked food. When when the, when my wife prepares the food, I like to eat it because I don't know how to prepare it. So she has a roadmap. I am only, my job there is just to chop the food. <laughs> so it's the same thing with the journey. Our journey to where we are going, there are people that have been there there are people that was there before we came and we don't come in here because we want to change it all we can do is to help make sure that we grease or we push the car or we fuel add fuel to what we are doing so we can get to our destination i don't want to go in there and just telling you that instead of going straight to where you're going you should dive out there dive out there no 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 that's hypocrisy that doesn't make sense as you know uh, uh -huh. So you have to join, be here with us. You are welcome anytime you join. This is Radio Biafra. Don't forget, Biafra to us is our religion. Biafra to us is what our religion. And Radio Biafra here, as I'm speaking to you right now, is where we worship. I've come to the end of today's program. We're making room for Mazi Alozie who's coming in. But please stay tuned. Don't go away.